Okay, so why is that moving? Why is that moving on its own? Uh, not sure. What the heck? Can you see it moving on your screen? Yeah, I can. I can see it. What is this sorcery? Do, 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 do. It looks like it's attracted to the tree. That is weird. It's still going as well. I'm curious as to how far this thing's going to move. Look at that. It's gone like 30 degrees on its own. <laughs> it's still moving. It really is. That is the craziest thing. Could be the jet wash that's pushing it. No, because I've put the jet wash down and it's still moving. I can't even begin to think what's doing that. It's the terrain mod that does it. Ah, okay. Could be, yeah. What does terrain mod cause the trailer to drift? Hmm. <sighs> what would happen then if you left it then? Let me turn the engine it'd off and up, see if it still carries it'd on. It end up on the other side of the map. Still moving. Oh, actually. Does it stop now? Yes, it's stopped. It's like some weird vibration from the engine. Now it's moving again. Crikey, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Yay, we got piggies. Oh, we got spotted piggies. ones. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, we got a black one. <gasps> two black ones, two I pink ones. I've one black. Two black, two pink, and five spotted. I see five spotted, three pink, and one black. <laughs> really? What you see yep. different to me? Yeah, at the front, on the front left, I've got a black pig. In the middle, what? it's pink, and then it's a spotty one on the right hand side. That is completely different to what I see. Yep. Pig and mix. <laughs> but where do we put them then? Oh, they're actually in the field. Oh, I now see two black pigs. Yeah! Piggy! Look at this. You need to get all of your pigs out and get them all squeezing at once. Well, not at once, but like in different times. So it'll be like... I tell you what, though, Steve. Like a proper pig. They are so much better than the Farm Sim 15 oh, yeah. animals. The animation I mean. looks a lot better. Look at that. The, the animation and the detail in the pig definitely looks better. Oh, you can get on top. Although, they've still not fixed the sink issue. If you're jumping on a pig then, I, uh, yeah, you were then, but not now. Am I inside a pig for you? No, there's a pig here where I'm stood, yeah. and I'm jumping. And then there's one here behind you, there, and then obviously you're so still That on one the there pig. is actually here for me. Yeah. So it's like they're slightly off. If you've got one here, and I've got the other one here, it means that it's just moved slightly this way for you. Yeah. So they still don't synchronise that bit properly. No. I like the little curly tails, though. Massive snout on that pig. I know, all right. What yeah. are we looking at? Look at the stuff on the ground. Wait, what's In all this? Yeah, exactly. They're spitting out of the field. What's going on? Yeah, they've uh, kicked it all over. Oi, pig. Can you not do that, bro? I don't know how else we'd get them to be clean. Oh, you can't go in. Are you kidding me, game? Can't go in the sheds. Why would they do that? Put an invisible barrier so you can't go inside the little pig thing and just crouch inside and play hide and oh, seek. Oh, I can. I've got what? it. Why you can you go crouch. in that one? I, I was crouching. Yeah, I got in this one. I can't get in. Crouch? I am crouched. Through. I can't walk in. It won't let me. Oh, God, I can't get out. Lol. <laughs> Oops. Um, <laughs> crouch, Steve. Just crouch. That's all you need to I do. I am crouched. Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck. I seriously am stuck. You glitched in and now you're stuck, pal. Yeah. No, I'm going to be a pig forever. Well, I you're the tenth pig now. so easy. Now your head's sticking out, Steve. What the heck? Well, come out backwards. At least we've now bred. We've got ten pigs. <laughs> I'm stuck. 
No, laughing's not funny. It is funny. It's it's not really just, I can just tab, so... That's best when you run up and your head glitches out the top. Do that again. It's like... Welcome to the Thursday Farming Sim Stream. How are we all doing? Can we have a very quick AV check to get us going here? Can you hear me okay and see me okay? And oh, I've left the notifier at Santa. Lol. I need to change that. One sec. That was not meant to happen. That's only meant to happen at Christmas. Let me change that quickly. I was messing about a couple of days ago and I forgot to put that back. <laughs> Whoopsie. Cre uh, Christmas preview. Sorry about that. <laughs> in other note, guys, did you see I was, in a, I was mentioned in a New Scientist article yesterday? I was like, new scientist. Yeah, achievement unlocked. <clears throat> I put it on my Facebook and Twitter today. Basically, they, they wrote an article yesterday about um, simulation games and stuff, and um, how people are turning to them, like for relaxation and stuff like that, like you know, driving along mm. and trucking. And uh, about two thirds of the way down through the article, they talked about me and linked to my channel. I was like, "Yay, <laughs> new scientist! Are you kidding me?" Well, put it this way: you have done a few like physics lessons with us, so eh, I guess it's kind of uh, <laughs> kind of in favour. Well, you know, go the, here the, and play games while also learning physics. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that they clearly read the Kotaku article because they also took the misquote and said that I started on Call of Duty, so they clearly yeah. got it from that article. It's just funny. They obviously must have read the article and thought, oh, that's a good idea for an article, let's do that one. Mm -hmm. That's what I think happened. Don't we need to find all the forestry equipment? Yeah, I'll just take this uh, vehicle back to the yard and then uh, tab around. Tab around. Tab around. Tab up, tab up, and tab down. Tab around. <laughs> Everybody, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Sounds like you're saying dab. Tap, tap, tap around. Oh, this trail. Look at that! Come on. That looks hilarious. <laughs> You're slow as my trailer's coming up. It's slowly pushing me over. That's brill. Job done. We're aiming for sugar beet potatoes. A big expense, don't we? You see, if you bought me a log trailer, Somi, we might be able to get that money quicker. I'm just saying. Sometimes, mm. Somi, you have to invest to. I need Speculate another word that rhymes with the best. No, we need something else. Um, you need to invest to... Suggest. Yeah. Well, I, I have to know. suggest you invest something. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer the radiator's heat because it's more of an ambient heat, whereas when you put the, um, the aircon's heat on, it kind of blows hot air in your face, which I don't personally like. What the rip was that? Well, that went the wrong way. You think? Wowzers. Um, so yeah, I prefer the red if possible. Okay, seems to be fighting with this one a little bit. It's managed to get itself jammed in between my machinery and now it's... What? <laughs> Can you not lift it up? Oh my god, Steve. Oh, this, I see what you mean. This thing is it just... It's like fighting me to the death. <laughs> what is going on? This just doesn't want to get logged and it's going to get logged, Steve. I see what you mean. There we go. You get logged, boy. Here we go. It's like one of those... Um, those horses when they tame them, and it's like, no, no, you will never <laughs> saddle me. 20 minutes later, all right, yeah, you can ride me. Yeah, I think the physics are written by the same guy who wrote spin tires. Kappa. Trying <laughs> <laughs> to let you do a perimeter. Jeez, my like, God. Oh, you need to. What, when, what? Your voice, like, every now and again, you say something, and it 
absolutely rip booms my headphone. I have n I'm not moving away from the microphone or anything. Did anybody Wait. else get that? My it must be two speed. God. <laughs> it must be two speed. What the heck? It had automatically turned on automatic voice game. Yeah, that's control. gone loud. That's gone loud. Okay, is that better? Yeah, go on. Right, testing. Hello. That's Hello. quiet now, so you need to right. bring something up a bit. Okay. That better? Yeah. Okay, I'll leave it there. Is that good? Let me turn you up a bit at my end. Right, go on, talk now. Hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, it's quite, quite loud. There you go. I might do it. Right. For some reason, TeamSpeak had turned on auto automatic voice game control. And I'd never turned that on. I always have it on. Yeah, so it means it's it's like listening, and if you say something suddenly, it just goes boom. Mm. Yep. Since we don't have the pink tractor ball, if he keeps messing with his audio, then just mute him for an hour. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> just, just you know, give me a time out or something. That's like you sit on the naughty step for an hour. Yeah. Um, I was learning to. I was like, right. I was coding on my ZX Spectrum in, in Spectrum Basic, and then I started to learn about like peek and poke commands where you'd stuff bytes into various registers in the memory to do things and then I started to learn about Z80 assembly language which is the like the Spectrum had a Z80 chip inside it and the Z80 assembly language was the the machine language back then you could buy like there was about four books available on Z80 machine language and so I started to learn assembly language programming which is like getting down and dirty where you're coding the, the CPU at the very core level of what it understands. And so I sat there one day and thought to myself, I wonder if I write I wonder if I write a bit of basic code that just pokes a load of random numbers into memory. And then I tell and there's like a jump command in assembler, right? So you can what it does is it tells the CPU to go to a specific place in memory and start executing whatever it finds there. And of course, normally what you'd do is you would code that and then tell it to jump there and run it. And I thought to myself, if I just poked a lot of random numbers into memory and then executed it, what are the chances that I that you would come up with like an amazing game? <laughs> like, and the, and the, the odds are absolutely astronomic. You know, they, they really are. Astro Even with just 48k RAM, the odds of you poking like 40k of RAM with random numbers and then executing it and suddenly finding you've got the world's best game on your hand. What actually happened was I poked the memory, executed it and just crashed the spectrum. <laughs> Pulled the power out, tried again, crashed the spectrum, screen grows blue. Ooh, that's different. Pull the power out, try it again, screen starts flashing and making weird noises out of the machine thinking, oh god, I've broken this. <laughs> that's why I did it a few times and then gave up. <laughs> it's just... So you were hoping to be the next Bill Gates, but well, here's the thing, Steve. Right? I was thinking to myself, if I if I just poked a lot of numbers into memory and executed mm. it, and it and it came up with like an amazing game, yeah, yeah, all that would be in memory. How would I save True. it? How would I save it to disk? Yeah, I was thinking unless it just happened to randomly have a save game option, <laughs> save save the code, <laughs> I'd be screwed. Yeah, you'd have had to leave it turned on. I'd leave it turned on on this amazing game that nobody would ever be able to play. Right, it's good night from me. And good night from him. See you all tomorrow, 5pm. I just teleported. Literally, Steve, I just teleported yeah. off the top of that house. Right next to you. I did the same. Yeah, I did the That's same. That's amazing. I didn't even touch my keyboard. Weird. Get back up there, you stupid game. I shall finish up here. <laughs> <laughs> Must finish on the top. I must finish up here, yeah. Right, I'll see you Friday, guys. Take it easy. Um, hope you have a great Friday. Love you all. Good night. <laughs>